Ladies and gentlemen, this is our main event of the evening. Les Lock and Load Sherrington versus Zach Dynamo Dan. Sky is a wrecking machine and he's hungry. With deceptive skills, throwing bombs at me put a terrorist to shame. My inside combinations introduce you to pain. I'm an artist in the ring, I spill your blood on the canvas. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have you upstanding as we invite to the centre of the ring Melbourne's own singing star, Melbourne's tenor, Mr. Ben Clark. Australians, oh, let us rejoice for we are young and free. We've golden soil and wealth for toil. Our home is good by sea. Our land abounds in nature's gifts of beauty, rich and rare. In history's page, let every stage advance Australia fair. In joyful strains, then let us sing. Advance Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, both warriors have entered the ring and this is the main event of the evening. Tonight's fight sanctioned by the WBC representative, Mr. Andrew Campbell, under the auspice of the Professional and Boxing Combat Sports Board of Victoria. Your judges at ringside, Mr. Paul Lee, Anthony Hibbs and Mr. Jeff Eddy. Your doctor, Dr. Pratap Philippe, 
your timekeeper, Mr. Damien Membry. And when that bell tolls, the man in charge in centering, Mr. Ignatius Missalides. This fight is brought to you by Lotus Caravans. Melbourne, Australia, let's make some noise. It's main event time. 12 by three minute rounds in the super middleweight division. They will be fighting for the WBC International Silver Super Middleweight title. Introducing first, the challenger, fighting out of the blue corner, trained by Luke Melden out of Fortitude Fitness with an official weight of 75.6 kilograms, wearing black trunks with white piping. A fight record, 43 fights, 35 wins, 19 ending by way of knockout. Fighting out of Broad Beach, Queensland, he is the WBA Oceana middleweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, Liz Lock and Load Sherrington. <laughs> and across the ring, his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, trained by Danny K, Daryl Ford, and the team out of the fighting lines with an official weight of 75.7 kilograms, wearing the all black trunks. Undefeated, 20 fights, 20 wins, with an 80% KO record, 16 coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Melbourne, Australia. He is the WBC Youth World Champion, the IBO World Champion, the current reigning and defending WBC Silver Super Middleweight Champion, ladies and gentlemen. Zack Dynamo Dunn! Both fighters centering for referees' instructions. So, oh, guys, I'll explain the rules in the change room. I want you to bang up the hands at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves now and good luck. The decks have been cleared. It's all clear here now Check for our three. main event of the evening, the WBC Wayne, Silver International in? Super Middleweight title. Really? Brad Vacali here. It's my absolute pleasure to welcome the hammer, Mark Castanini, and the Can't former world ready. super featherweight champion, Barry Michael, to the commentary the team for our main event of the evening, guys. Button down your seatbelts. Let's get ready for action. Barry, what do you think? Well, mate, you know, I, I really appreciate Les Sherrington for taking this fight because I think Zach's the most dangerous, exciting prospect in Australia. But saying that, Les has been around the world, he's very experienced, and he's quite confident. But Zach Dunn, uh, people don't realise how well he can box, but he's an awesome banger as well. And Mark, your well, thoughts? Well, my thoughts, you know, two world-class class athletes here. Les Sherrington, nothing to lose, everything to gain. Undoubtedly, so if, that's if, true. If he can shake it up here tonight, you know, he's back, so in a big okay. way. And I've yeah. always had a lot of respect for Les Sherrington. Been around a long time, boxed with the best. You know, he's done a lot of rounds, even with uh, John Wayne Park. He's just been and, uh, hit now with a bomb of a left Can't hook. He's been caught with three left yeah. hooks so Already. far. Already, the left Hammer. hook is going to be the money punch for Zach Dunn tonight. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Zach's right. got that Come left on. hook that Come everyone on. knows about, go. Go. Yes. and you'd think they'd have a counter strategy well, to defend it, but he's yeah. <laughs> so so taking them out with it, you know. There's been but, a lot of talk about Zach in recent times where, um, you know, I've always found his attack is um, is sound, his, his defence is actually quite sound, but he does get hit, but you know what, it's not that his defence is not that good, it's just that he's come up through the levels of fighters so very, very quickly, and good fighters, as you That's know, Barry, he's fought some very Mark, good fighters. they well, will expose you, if, you do, if your defence has got any weaknesses in it, they're going to expose it very quickly. Yep. A good shot from Les there, and Zach tried the big left hook. He missed it. But one of one of Zach's great punches is the right over the top, and Les is going to be open for that. The but, question uh, mark will be: Does Les have, Les have the power to keep Zach out? Yeah, you know, you'd think uh, Les has counter strategized for what Zach has. Les can uh, Les can punch. Oh, he can back a bit. Yep. Nice turn from yep. from uh, from Sherrington there. But uh, you see. Uh, that uh, Zach's, you know, he's got some big shoulders on him. He rolls through the hips nicely on his shots, generates the absolute maximum amount of power for his body rotation, yep. which is uh, ex exactly where his power is coming that, from. That overhand right is lifting. Got hit him, hit him on top of the head. There was no headbutt there. That was a punch. Yeah, and he was in trouble. He's been in trouble three or four hook. times already this round. We've got a minute to go in round one. There's that left hook. Already, Les is starting to hold referee Ignatius Missalides warns him. 
But Les really can't be static. He needs to be mobile. He, he can't does. be a target in front of, of yep. Zach Dunn. He, good. He's got to be nice moving right constantly. A couple of good shots from Les yes. there. Zach, people don't realise that Zach Dunn can box when he wants to. Yeah. See, Zach's going to Zach's gonna be able to unload with the full he power to when Les already. stops moving. Yeah, absolutely. If he's moving, it's going to be a harder target to hit. Always. When he stops and covers, yeah. he's just feeding himself up on the platter there to Dunn. Oh, that vicious shot. Right hand under the ribcage. He goes again. He vicious knows he can, body he can hit him there. There it is. He's gone upstairs, downstairs. Les is going to stand there and fight him, but he doesn't need to do that. As Mark Hammer Castanetti just said, he needs to be mobile, needs to move. And just Mark, like I'd have that, him, like I, would, yep, I would have him moving around to the right more so than the left because he's going to walk. If he moves around yeah, he, to the yeah. left, stay he's away walk from, on, yeah. Yeah, walk He needs to stay right away hand. from the power side. He yes. needs to be up on the balls of his feet and he needs to be working that jab overtime, yep. guys, yep. don't you think? And let me tell you, Zach's over, Zach Dunn's overhand right. It takes him a couple of rounds to warm up, Zach Dunn. When he gets that overhand right on target, Les yeah. is going to. It, it, it's going to hurt, I can tell you. Well, that's, that's the reasoning behind that movement to the right. Move right, stay away from the right. But then he's got to be careful not to step into He's that got the left hook, too, though. He's got to be know? careful not to, to gain that left Let's hook. Look, look, look at that. Lee was right nearly gone there. Absolutely. The legs buckled under there. He misses with the right hand. He telegraphed that. Les comes back with his own left hook. But there, Les got clipped with the left hook. And Zach actually stopped when, in fact, he didn't need to stop. He could have but, finished it there, probably. Yeah, absolutely. There's a right hand by Les, just misses the mark. Right, right hook to the body again by Gunn. Misses the right hand over the top. He's starting to mix it up already, Hammer. Um, Zach Gunn, he's gone to the body and then gone to the head. He's gone high, he's gone low. He's mixed it up. He's, he's going to confuse his opponent. He's a great body puncher. He's one of the best body punchers in the business out there at the moment. Arguably, I think, the best super middleweight in the country here. Anyway, of course, we've got some great super middleweights. And just some breaking news. Uh, Blake Caparello today lost a, a decision to Andre Durrell over in New York. It was a good effort from Blake. He had Durrell down, which is something not too many people have ever done. True. So a good effort by uh, by Blake Caparello. But back to the action here. I'd like to see Zach establish his jab. People don't yep. realise the jab he's got. He's got a great no, jab. It's a powerful jab too. Go, but you know what? Go, he just wants go, to get everyone out of there. Right. He just loves the yeah. brawl. He's, he's a like people, oh, isn't he? He just he's wants to people. get in there and just yeah. unleash. But uh, Sherrington needs to be up on the balls of the feet, popping that jab, being mobile because Static up against the ropes or in the corner there is going to be his undoing. If he stands here and wants to fight Zach, he's going to lose very, very quickly. He's just got to be, he's got to fight smarter, not harder. He doesn't need to stand there and trade punches. And when he does do that, beautiful, nice left leads, step off. He needs to just step off that front foot, Barry. Yep. Yep, you know, easy said than done okay, when you've got a machine stalking you in yeah. front of you, <laughs> <laughs> looking to bomb you out with both hands, is which so is what Zach does. You know, he, he just so looks... strong and close, isn't he, uh, Zach? You know, like, um, Les is very strong. I've refereed Les a lot, but Les can't move Zach in close. Good right hand from Les there, and good, beautiful no, body shots from Zach. Done that hurt Les, I think. Another left hook there, yeah. crazy. Well, look at that left the hook. That's off the that's shoulder. The There's punch. the right hand. Yeah. There's that right hand. And look, Zach Dunn, he throws the right hand, followed immediately by the left hook to the body or the left hook to the head. Sherrington look. certainly got to be moving and uh, and always mobile. Dunn is going to look to isolate the target and then go bombing. 100%. Lish, Luke Sheldon in the corner of uh, Lee Sherrington tonight. And uh, Liz, oh, there's the left hook again. That certainly caught his attention. Oh, left hook to the body. Vicious. Vicious body punches. Followed by the little right uppercut. Zach goes with a right uppercut again. He's a real thinker, isn't he? He's hurting Liz at the moment. He He's hitting every with... punch. He's in trouble. A minute to go round two. Is he going to get through this round? He's going to struggle, I think. Zach doing it, doing it easy at the moment, I'm telling you. I know what this kid can do. I've seen him in the gym. He can lift and lift and lift. Oh, the harder someone pushes him, left to right hand there's the that right hand. Well taken by Les and countered with a... Oh, oh what body. a body shot. He's down, Les. Just sticks to the body. Wow. wow. That's Zach that done. Four, He's up, five, Les. He's brave. Six. Seven. Well, Les, again, you know, Sherrington just has to be moving and trying... Just diffuse the power of Zach Dunn as he comes forward yet again. The incredible, the raw power, the left hook there by Dunn certainly stunned Les again. The left hook is a very good. lands clean, he's going to go, I can tell you now. We've got 18 seconds to go. Round two, another vicious left hook, Sherrington copping. Now look at the power, the look at the power. The rip ten to go. To good right hand from Sherrington. Hand. Sherrington needs to be in, out, and then on the Oh, angle. good. He needs to be up on the balls of the feet. 
you know, moving. I've got to tell you, I've seen Zach in the gym with world-class fighters we brought out from overseas, world-class sparring partners, and they hit him and he doesn't even bat an eyelid. Doesn't move, yeah. Just, he's got an eye and flat results. It's really a little bit of discomfort there. I wouldn't mind betting he might have a cracked rib or something like that because he doesn't want to sit down. He sits down now, but he took his time and took a couple of very good breaths before he went back to the corner to be tender. He's in a world of pain that he's sharing today over there at the moment. And look, I know this very well. He's as brave and as tough as they come. And he'll fight it out. But does he have the tools to keep Jack Dunn out? Jack Dunn smiling. He's very relaxed in the corner there. Being tended by Eric and Danny Kane. And Mick Hargraves. And Mickey Hargraves, of course. And the two. And Darryl Ford. What a great team. Great team. Great team. Great team. I can see Craig Dunn standing over in the corner. He certainly is. He's standing over the corner, but he's, uh, I think he'll feel a little bit relieved. But uh, Les Sherrington hasn't presented much of a challenge at this particular moment for the rampaging Zach Dunn. Looking to go 21 and love tonight with uh, 17 by way of knockout. And he's really starting to, uh, to think. Looks like he's enjoying himself out there, Zach Dunn. He does. And we've been working more on his defence. A bit more side on cross arm, you know. Oh, oh yeah, crunching right hand. Right, right. You can, right you, you can hear the power. Can't hold and hit. You understand? Can't hold and hit. Box. Well, Zach Dunn is oh, 25, was he 25 years of age. Just 20, turned 25. Exactly. Just 25, 25 years in his prime, this lad. Less 35 years, 43 fights, 35 wins, 19 by way of knockout. He is a veteran. Oh, oh. That crunching right hand. You, you, you've got to remember that Zach Dunn, this is his 191st fight. Yeah, there when you, you consider all his amateur. And he's fought all around the world as an amateur. He's, Lived in Cuba amazing. with the Cuban no, no, amateur no, no, no. team and fought for the Cuban amateur team. A lot he of people fought in, fought in Russia, fought in India, fought in Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan yeah. Kazakhstan, fought in Th Thailand. Can you say that again, Barry? Michael? Kazakhstan, <laughs> whatever it is. <laughs> and, uh, and look, when you look at it, I mean, he's 25 years of age. He's a two-time world champion, the WBC world youth champion and the IBO um, world title. He won that in great circumstances, um, uh, made it beating Max. Max Bursak, who was a quality opponent here. Max Bursak. Uh, oh, the uppercut. Yeah. And Les is down again for the second time here in round number four. Is it over? Three, I think he five, might be done. Six, seven, eight. Uh, he's ready to go on. He's got he guts. Tough. Yeah, he's got guts, Les, Les Sherrington. Oh, I know that. He's been around you can forever, put but he can't oh, stand there. Right he's got to move. Coach. Move, Les It's Sherrington. only a matter of time. Dunn knows he's got him in trouble here. The body punches, they'll drop an elephant. He's ready to go. Oh, Les is down again. The towel the comes in. Well. It is all the towel over. comes in, and Zach Dunn has successfully defended his WBC International Silver Super Middleweight from Les Sherrington. More embarrassed about anything. He knows he put up a good performance as they embrace its centre ring. And Zach Dunn was clinical tonight. Well, Zach Dunn literally punching a hole into Liz Sherrington's liver. He Just really tore that body, that body apart. Mate, people do not realise how good this lad is. He's, he's our next big, 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 big real world champion. He's going to win a world, another world, major world title. Won a youth world title. Won the IBO world title against Max Bursak. Yeah. Bursak's got an eighth round knockout victory over the current WBO world champion Giovanni Di Carolis. Well, so, you know, hop aboard, folks. Yeah, absolutely. Hop aboard yeah, because the Zach Dunn title Express train is, is about to lose the station. The station. <laughs> what a tremendous effort as we see the final knockdown there of the fight of the referee Ignatius Missalides. He was concerned. He's a very good referee. He's not going to let uh, Les Sherrington get hurt. And to his wife, Ashley, and his two young children who are down here, yeah, he's hurt to the body, but he's, uh, but he's okay. And referee, wa referee Ignatius waves it away. And there he is, the undisputed WBC International Silver Super middleweight champion, 21 and love with 17 by way of knockout. The Dynamo, Zach Dunn. Who can stop this man, Barry Michael? Mate. Is there anyone in Australia that can stop this man? No, I don't believe there is. I really don't. Well, Barry, what's next? That's the question I ask you, well, my friend. Well, you know, we're looking, we're trying to get either Badu Jack for the WBC world title, Giovanni Di, Di Carolis, or Felix Sturm for the WBA Super. Um, there's talk of Ramirez making us an offer for the WBO World Title. Yep. We're in all the, we're in the top ten 
or top 12 of every major ranking body now. And this this fight tonight should probably put Zach into the top five in the WBC. And when you look at Zach, don't look at him. His he, highs aren't too high, his lows aren't too low. He's proud of what he's done tonight, but he ain't getting carried away with what he's no, done. No, I'll tell you, he's a very calm, and look, it's a pleasure to be involved with him. Yeah. He always, he's, he's a perfect professional. And Barry, let me tell you, the fight that's out there that you need is Felix Stern. Yes. I think, you know, he's um, he's a quality opponent. He's he destroyed Felix world Stern. Champion. Yep. And uh, for Zach to come up and beat the, the likes of a Felix Stern, I think that would do him the world of good and the world would have to stand up and say, who is this kid? Yep, undoubtedly, undoubtedly. It's a great finish to the evening. Finished relatively early for one of my shows, but uh, it's, look, it's been a pleasure working with you two guys, I must say. We're not, having, not doing the wrap-up yet, but I've really enjoyed it. And we've got uh, to say a big thank you yet again to the gracious sponsors that have got behind your show, Barry. Lotus Caravans, Crown Bet, Opium Bar, and uh, all the others you'd like to thank, perhaps, Barry? Yes, um, we've got... We've got Bowell Kelson advisory, actually. Let's, let's go to John. Round number three. This fight ended via corner retirement, and your winner by TKO, and still WBC International Silver Super Middleweight Champion, Zach Dynamo! Just before we go back to John, just want to thank, thank our other sponsors, Victorian Digital Solutions, Bowell, Kelson Advisory, uh, my good mate Craig Bowell, The World Tomorrow, and the Jelly Brand Property Group, A+. Plus. Our big Craig, ones, of course, Lotus Caravans, well done, Crown Bet, Second and the Opium Lounge. The thank you. International silver title. It's got to be very, very refreshing. You were clinical tonight. I mean, he is a good fighter. Yeah. I'd love to do him. I know I thought he would put up much more there, but you were just clinical. You weren't going to miss him. Yeah, yeah, I was relaxed in the fight, you know, like it took me a couple of rounds to settle into it. But, you know, that's, um, you know, I was happy with the win. I was strong for the, through the whole fight. I started, in the last round, I started establishing my jab and, yeah, I was able to land the good combinations. I noticed tonight you actually started to step off a little bit. Rather than just sort of stand here and just blast away, no, you actually, you blasted away, you did the work, the body punches tonight were sensational. I've never seen you work the body so well. Is that something you've been working on in the gym with, uh, with Danny and the team? No, that's just, uh, you know, I've had 21 fights now. I'm a bit more mature with my boxing. You know, sometimes, you know, you can't keep coming forward at a million miles now. You've got to step back and have a think and have a think about how you want to go coming forward again. Now, we all know you, your attack is very, very sound. Um, a few people have said that there's question marks about your defence. I've never believed that because I know you've risen through the ranks very, very quickly and the level of fighter that you've fought, if you haven't got a defence, they're going to expose it. Tonight, you, uh, you were very good. You stepped off. You, you moved. You created angles. You worked the body. It was really a clinical performance tonight. Yeah, um, my defence, you know, like, like you said, um, I've got a good defence. My defence isn't perfect, yeah. You know, once you think you got, got a perfect boxing style, you stop learning. So I'm constantly learning how to improve my stuff. I know you placed a fair bit of, a, of um, importance on this fight. I mean, Les Sherrington, 43 fights, 35 wins, 19 by way of knockout, and has fought some very good fighters in the world. Um, so you really rated this guy and you, you were really uh, primed for this fight, if you like. You didn't take the fight too easy. Yeah, um, you know, like, uh, I, I, it was like I was jumping in with a world champion. Like, that's how you should take every fight. You never take any fight lightly. I said to you at the weigh-in last night, are you going to have a small break after this? And uh, you said, oh, I'll have a couple of days off and I'll be back into the gym. Yeah, I like, you know, I don't like getting too unfit. I like keeping constant. So you're about, you know, two, three weeks out from super fit again. That's, you know, like, because you can get the call up any time now for a world title. And, you know, it's my job to keep fit. Tell me, future opponents... Where to now? Is there anyone in Australia I don't think that would want to fight you or that will fight you? Um, so realistically, it's overseas now. Who would you like to um, be in the opposite corner in your next fight? Uh, Brad, I would like uh, Giovanni Di Corrales from Italy for the WBA world title. What about, we? Barry and I were talking in the commentary with Hammer, we are talking about um, Felix Sturm, you know, a quality opponent, the three-time world champion. Um, I mean, his style is, styles make fights, his style is suits you. You've got the power, you've got the pop to be able to, uh, to work that fight. He's a fighter that's going to put a bit of uh, pressure on you. Would he be considered? Um, if they offered the right money, like, I don't think he has a major world title at the moment, so for the right money, yeah, I would take that fight. 
the WBC world title is the, the classic. It's the best of the of the lot. Is the, the one that's the one you're gunning for? Uh, the WBC is a good one as well. But um, you know, the WBA was the first belt that was ever around. That would be a classic classic belt to win as well. 93 years old, it would be great to hold uh, a belt that uh, the greats of Cassius Clay, Joe Louis, Rocky Marcia, Arcea, Sugar Ray Robinson have all held. And of course, Zach Dunn from Australia would be, uh, that would fit nicely around your waist as well. Yeah, look, uh, perfect around my waist. <laughs> I watched uh, during the commentary, I watched over uh, to see your dad standing over in the corner and uh, he was a nervous dad as he always is. But, uh, but uh, have you got anyone to thank you'd like to thank for tonight, Zach? Uh, yeah, I'd like to thank, uh, as always, my trainer Danny Kay, who's been with me since the beginning. Uh, Without this, uh, without him, I couldn't make all this boxing happen. Um, Arif Cartel, um, what's called, uh, everyone, Mick, Mick Hargraves, uh, Daryl Ford, Daryl Ford, my, my dad, uh, Barry Michael, yeah, just the whole team behind me has uh, made everything happen. I guess your mum might be watching at home, uh, nervous, doing some knitting or something. Have you got anything to say to mum? Uh, she's uh, still too young for knitting, but... <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, I love you, Mum, and um, yeah, I love you now, uh, and um, Jackie, my dog. Well, there we go. There he is. He is the undefeated, the undisputed WBC silver international champion. Put his hands together for Zach Dunn. Second successful defence tonight. Well done, mate. Well done, brother. The excellence go. of execution it was tonight. Zach Dunn, as I said, folks, hop aboard the Zach Dunn train. The world title train it surely is. coming his way. And it's about ready to leave the station. I hope you've enjoyed our our show tonight from uh, from the pavilion here. On behalf of Barry Michael, Mark the Hammer Castanini, we hope you enjoyed our show. My name is Brad Vicali, and I hope you'll join us again next time for TV Ringside.